everyone to be here and today I'm going to be doing happy horse jumping kind of again I don't think you guys see me jump with my hobby horse but oh well also yeah my hair looks very funky I used to do this hair out all, all the time like a cute little short ponytail of this and I haven't done it for a long time and I like shaved half of my head so I don't know if I love it right now. I probably look insane, but we'll see how I like it after all my hair is dry. Let's stop talking about my hair problems. Let's start jumping. Okay, so as you guys know, I made my hobby horse. Her name was Sunny, but I ripped her head off the stick thingling, and I replaced it with a zebra head, and her name is Oreo. And, um, I like her a little better because she's kind of more realistic than the little My Little Pony one. But I still don't want them to be look too realistic let me show her oh we're matching i'm wearing black and white <laughs> okay so here she is she has her little um can't see it because she's so fluffy a little like bridle on but she's real cute i need to brush that mane though but yeah that's her the jumps i'm going to be doing i'm just going to be doing two jumps and i'm have these poles what I'm gonna do is use these two chunks of wood I'm gonna set the pole so this is about to my knee not hard at all and then I have these two other ones but they're not as tall as the other one um yeah it's just practice and then I have one more pole that I like putting in them right here right there and on the sides right there so like I gallop over that you know you know you know what I'm saying okay I do it barefoot because like where I wear when I wear shoes I always mess up so yeah okay weird angle but okay yeah it's windy and they keep falling off and they make clinks you know because they're kind of fake metal. I don't know what it's called. But put them back on. And yes, I do practice with jumps that are a little higher, you know. But yeah, these are just warm up ones, I guess. So let's start. Wait, can you see both of them? I think you can only see the little small one. So that's technically what I do for warm up. I was doing this like for three hours straight yesterday, and my legs are really sore, but I still still practice. Um, now I'm kind of gonna do a trot and then jump. So see how this goes. Um, so, that was a little gallop at the end. I'm not sure if I'm going to practice dressage. I never even tried dressage. It's an option. Um, because I have seen a couple horses, like real horses, do it, and hobby horses wind's coming please don't knock over my poles okay but i'm not exactly sure i'm gonna look into it more today and see but yeah keep jumping oh yeah i got it 
my mom yesterday helped me set up like this obstacle course so it was like two jumps and I don't know if you can see it but there's a pole right here with a light on it and you have to go around that two times and then there's a bucket on the lawn you go around that and you jump over a high jump and then you come back me and my little sister did it and I made my little sister a little horse because she got jealous and it's just a My Little Pony one so she named it Rainbow so yeah keep practicing oh yeah Oreo such a pretty horse zebra whatever Some tips on jumping. Um, when I run or gallop with my hobby horse, I go like this. And then when I jump, so when I'm running, it's like this. And then when I jump, I go like that and kind of push the head down so the back legs don't hit the pull off. So that's kind of what I do. Just skipped all the jumps. Yeah. So that's kind of what I've been doing today and yesterday. And it just really helps. So, yeah. If you don't. If you can't make any jumps like this or you have no poles or anything, I'm going to make a video on how to make homemade jumps that supplies that anybody has around their house, hopefully. Um, yeah. Some people asked me, like, where I get the poles. I found them in my garage. It was a lucky find, so I'm pretty lucky. But, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Bye. I don't know why she was doing the outro, but bye. Uh.